Our residential fridge will not work on our inverter, and now our ice machine isn't producing ice. What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure, and welcome to the next video. Today's video, we're actually talking about our RV a little bit because the fridge has stopped working when we unplug from short power. So we have a residential fridge, it's supposed to work on an inverter, but for some reason it's not coming on. I have somebody here that's actually pretty knowledgeable in working on RVs. He happens to have his own YouTube channel as well. It is Jason from Imagine Your Odyssey. Today, he's going to help me diagnose the problem and hopefully we can resolve it so that I can stop running the generator on our travel days. Hello everybody, I am Jason with Imagine Your Odyssey and we're gonna to try to fix their rig. We got heat here. Heat here. So right now I'm checking to make sure that we at least got voltage all the way through. So you got your negative side over here and then you got your positive side of the battery. This is your 12 volt side of the rig. So what we're going to do is just follow that all the way up. So you got a breaker here just in case something goes bad, which is good. So we are okay over there. Then you're going to come around and go up into the inverter. So you got your red line here. And you got your black line over there. So your positive, negative, the 12 volt. With all that, if all that's going in and everything's hot and this thing is working correctly, it's going to invert. The 12 volt will go in and come out this side over here to make your 120 volt. When the shore power is turned back on, it'll come through this plug and do a pass through. So it'll go into the inverter. The inverter will stop inverting from the 12 volt and just pass the 120 volt through this cable up here. So we got to figure out if we have the 12 volt going all the way in and if all the 12 volt side is good then we got to check to see why we don't have 120 volt when we're off short power so at some point we'll have to disconnect the rig from short power and check all that out so what you just explained to me was the inverter is actually pulling power from the shore power when it's plugged in and it's passing that power through to the refrigerator so the refrigerator is running on the inverter all the time when the power from the shore power comes in it has a switch and it just turns so okay you get the power from the inverter side of the fridge or from the shore power inside of the inverter it'll switch between the two depending on the demand okay so if you don't need the inverter it'll switch to shore and then once we unplug from the pedestal then it should be running on the inverter coming from the battery. Yeah, internally of the inverter, it should switch over to the inverter side coming off of the battery okay. powering the fridge, yeah. I think I get it. The problem is, is that the, the fridge is still running when we're right. plugged in, so that means the inverter is doing its job when we're plugged in. Right, so I see a light on the front of the inverter and it looks like a little display panel. So when we disconnect from the shore power, we'll look on there and see if there's anything telling us that there's anything wrong or not. Jason was nice enough to test everything as you saw, and he still, just making sure everything was good. But he went through a couple of different checks, some diagnostics. Turns out that if you throw st stuff up on the top of your generator and throw stuff in, just throw stuff in the storage when you're in a hurry, I don't ever do that, I don't know who does. But if you do, you can inadvertently hit, there's two buttons on this thing, uh, one on the back side and one on the front side. And both of them do something a little bit different. You can inadvertently hit one of those and they're not going to be working. It's, it's not going to work when you're when you're unplugged. It still passes power through when you're plugged in, but we figured might as well have somebody that's actually actually an engineer check and see what's going on with it. If you happen to have one of these inverters, um, like Harold said, there are two switches. So there's a flip switch on the back side of the inverter, and that's for your pass-through. So if you turn that off, you won't get pass-through. You hook up the shore power, it doesn't pass through the electricity. That's what that's for, um, really for testing diagnostics. On the front side of the panel, um, that's how we actually figured out what was going on because you're going to read the digital display to see if it had any alerts on there to kind of tell us where to troubleshoot and found a power switch on the front. Um, and it's just, it's right where you would put your stuff if you're storing stuff in here. So if you have an inverter like this, um, you got to be mindful of the switches and where you're putting your storage because you could invertly hit it and turn things off and not realize you did. So the moral of the story is, if you don't have power to something, Check the power switch. I know, fail. But hey, this is real life. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an engineer. I'm not gonna go around messing with these things. These are really complex and it's just not what I do. Uh, so I was thankful that Jason was able to come over and find what was going on and it was nothing major. So that we didn't have to hunt down a fuse or, or anything like that behind walls. And so I'm, I'm really thankful that he was able to come over and find that I hit it with uh, one of these totes that I actually pack up on top of the generator. So I think I'm gonna need to 
kind of rethink my storage. Now there's one more thing that I've learned through this whole thing, Cindy and I was trying to figure out why the fridge wouldn't make ice. And once the power had been turned off to the refrigerator because the inverter was turned off uh, from passing the 12 volt current or inverting the 12 volt current to the refrigerator, it actually reset the ice maker. And there's a way, there's a button on it uh, if you're experiencing an issue with it where you're, it's not making ice, that button, you can actually hold it and reset the unit. And it will flip over, drop any ice that it has, and then it will start making ice again. So if you have a residential fridge and you've lost power to the rig and now you can't get the ice maker to work try hit holding the reset button for about 10 seconds and you should hear the machine kick on and start flipping over now that button to reset the ice maker is actually towards the front of the ice machine right at the front side of it. it you just got to kind of feel around because you can't see it well that does it for today's video we learned that there are buttons on that inverter that can be easily hit with totes and stuff so if you're storing stuff in the uh the front under the nose make sure you be careful and if you do inadvertently hit something make sure you're checking it to so that the display is still showing uh so that your refrigerator stays on and you uh don't have food that spoils also, your machine, your ice machine, if it stops working, try the reset button. I, I know that there could be other things going on with it, but that's probably a good place to start. The other thing I'd like to say is I really want to thank Jason from Imagine Your Odyssey uh, for coming and helping us out to uh, diagnose these problems and help us get them resolved. If you can, go check out his channel and tell him One Strange Adventure sent you. Link in the description below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. And until the next strange adventure, keep making your own.